Hello friends, welcome to Oracle 23 AI new feature video series. In this video, we are going to learn another interesting change starting from 23 AI onwards with respect to group by class. Here is the snippet from Oracle documentation. As you can see here, starting from 23 AI onwards, as part of the group by class, we can use either a column alias or position. And of course, this is applicable for having class also. As part of having class, we can start using the alias and not the position. Okay, I will show you an example in both 21C as well as in 23 AI version so that it is easy for us to understand the change by comparing the previous version. Let me quickly show you the demo. As you can see here in left side of the window I have connected to Oracle 21C version and in right side of the window I have connected to Oracle 23 AI database so that it is easy for us to understand the change by comparing how it is behaving the previous version with respect to the current version. To understand this feature better I am just going to show you a simple scenario. I have a table called T underscore sales data which contains information about the product sale amount. For example here in this table we have the sale amount for laptop, tablet, shirt, sofa, sneakers across particular date. My expectation is I want to summarize this information and I want to print the aggregated sale amount and the number of transaction against certain product category. For example laptop and tablet I want to say how many transactions happen across this tech category and so far I want to categorize it as a furniture category. Same way shirt and sneakers I want to aggregate and show it as a apparel category. Basically at the end of my query I need an output something like this. As per the product category I want the total number of transactions and the total sale amount. Okay, The query is very simple because it's a very simple aggregation but as part of the aggregation we just need to categorize this product. So here is the query. If you can see here the query is very simple and straightforward. I am using the count uh, function to uh, aggregate the total transaction and I am using sum of sales amount to aggregate the total sale and just to categorize this product for example laptop and tablet I want to categorize as tech and similarly so far as a furniture and shirt and sneakers as an apparel I am simply using this case statement right now the query is very simple and straightforward aggregation statement right whenever we are using this aggregate function like sum count average minimum maximum whatever whatever the column or expression we are using as part of the select statement something like this so in this query i am using the case statement exactly the same thing we should mention as part of the group by class right that is why exactly the same case statement i just mentioned it here right now let me just execute this query and show you the output as expected the query is just printing the product category like as per the product category the total transaction and the total sale amount now let me copy and execute the same query in 23 AI database right of course the query will execute there is no change but from 23 AI onwards what the change you will see is as part of this group by class right we can start using the alias instead of the whole expression because many times in the real time scenarios our our expressions will be much complex than this so in that case we don't have to copy and paste exactly the same expression as part of the group by instead we can simply specify the alias or the position so now in this example i just mentioned the alias instead of mentioning the whole case statement in the group by i just mentioned the product category now let me execute this statement now is if you can see here it's exactly the same query the only change is in the group by class right we just mentioned the whole case statement here right now let me just show you one more thing instead of the alias in fact we can specify the position also instead of product category we can specify one because this is the first column right let me execute this query now if you can see here we are we are getting an error let me just copy paste this error here so that you can see it clearly right the error is must product name must appear in the group by class or be used in the aggregate function as group by position enabled is false okay so for to make our query to work as a position based we need to enable this parameter okay let me enable this parameter you say alter session set the parameter equal to true let me execute it session is altered now let me execute this query right now if you can see here now the the query is working as per the position of the column of course you can use either position or the name 
right both are working here right and it is not just for the group by of course as part of the having also we can use now suppose if i want to filter this output based on the total sale greater than 10000 generally what we will do we'll just say having sum of sale amount greater than 10000 something like this we will execute right let me just comment okay so in this case like 9857600 let's make it as 5000 right so yeah now if you can see here we just filtered the output again based on the sum of uh, the based on the total sale amount now he, we, here we are just mentioning exactly the same expression or the group function from 23 onwards we don't have to mention exactly the same instead we can specify the alias we don't have to specify the sum of sale amount here instead we can just specify the alias also as you can see here the query works as it is so here is the key learning from this video as part of the group by class from 23 ai onwards as part of group by class we can either specify the position or the alias also as part of the having class we can specify the alias if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video